have just turned into operation our ARCA plant, which is the largest direct air capture plant uh, currently operational in the world with a capacity of 4,000 tons of CO2 that are captured from the air every year. So that's that phenomenal capacity. What we are doing with by building direct air capture plants, that's not a silver bullet to solve the whole problem. But if we want to remove something like 10 billions of tons of CO2 from the air every year, mid of the century, nature-based solutions will very likely not be sufficient. And, and climate scientists again tell us we need to get to these 10 billion tons removed. So if the nature-based solutions aren't sufficient, there's not much left we have. So basically the other uh, solution is, is doing it with technical. We are already in the execution phase of the scale up of Orca. So we will be building a 10 times larger plant than Orca. So 10 times more capacity with more or less the same technology in the next two to three years. Uh, so latest than three years from now, this plant will be online capturing then 10 times more CO2 and, and also removing it by, by storing it underground. Well, our, our customers pioneers, pioneers for carbon dioxide removal. And there are also many corporates, a few well-known names uh, among them, like Microsoft, Stripe, Shopify, the car maker Audi, who are our customers. So they are paying us to for us to remove CO2 from the atmosphere in their name with the Orca plant. What is most important, we can accelerate our development, we can accelerate our deployment, we can accelerate investments, which will then help us to even faster get to a substantial scale up, meaning in a first step, get to a million tons per year scale. And then, well, eventually, as climate science tells us, we need to go to billion tons of CO2 removal per annum at late by mid-century. Mm -hmm.